Yeah. Cancel. Yeah. What's the goddamn deal? Yeah. Let's do it, bitch. Huh. Now here's a little story that I got to tell about a young gangster nigga out of Jacksonville. He started swinging tapes back on 103, and then he teamed up with that nigga Teddy P. That's me. They call him the Blues Brothers. You can't name a better duo. If you say you're made up, then my nigga come bring me two more. I'm wrestling the streets, and that Chevy look like a sumo. I do business in the hood, white t-shirt with a suit on. I'm not hearing all you niggas. Somebody done turned the mute on. I'm not fearing all you niggas. That AK will make you too tall. The whole team war already. I just put my other boot on. I'm out green on these niggas, and some make me want to do wrong. I'm a veteran, better than whoever step in the ring. So why the heck would these justice want to come step to the king? See, I'm the best with the lectures. You got to prep for these things. I try to tell them and press them, then let's get left with the green. See, I put money in this shit, so my investment is key. So if ain't no money involved, then don't send no message to me. See, I'm only fucking with bars since all you peasants can leave. And don't touch the rims of my Impala 73. The second part of the story is kind of crazy and sad. By the nappy head and pull a talent out of the sand. They took me to the Chevy Shack, and although it wasn't the cleanest, they played me his music. I said, this boy here, G. He was rapping and singing. I was trapping and banging. We swore an oath to each other. Never leave one of us hanging. They call us Tango and Dash. How we be getting that cash? You leave a bitch around this brother. She get mangled and smashed. 200 on the dash. On the foreign car in Florida. They said to say them nappy boys is back Mortimer. If I'm a king, he see me. If I'm a rifle, he rent me. And you the bitch running across the campus. Ain't even see me. You boys trying to ride the wave. We an ocean, nigga. You can add auto too. We got motion, nigga. Feel mob, outcast. We the closest, nigga. When it comes to that rapping and singing, we the dopest, nigga. Blues. Out with brothers. Wanna make the news.
Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Yeah, everyone said they can hear the music, but not me. That's because I switched microphones. But when I sit at the other desk, you're not going to hear me. I switched to a headset mic so you could hear me. Hello? Now do you hear me? Because the desk I'm working at with the dice is not near the mic. Let me mute this mic and see what happens. All right, I went back to the other mic that's on my desk. Um, hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm gonna take off my headphones because I can't hear shit anyway sitting at that desk. So we'll see what happens because now you can't hear me. I have no idea what's happening. So once I turn away, I don't know if you'll actually hear me. That is the problem. So that's not great that my stem microphone is not working. Yes, yeah, shiny click clacks. Also brain weasels. Um, I got the resin that Misty recommended that supposedly doesn't bubble. So we'll see. All right, so let me actually sit at the other desk. Hey, pirate. I now need to figure out why my headphone, why the stem microphone is not working. Nope, and I'm not asking for, I am so not asking for tech help. Hey, Lunar. I haven't moved from my desk yet, so. So the headphones just will give you all music. So we'll see what happens. I'm about to move to the other desk. Sorry, I'm also trying to just make sure I have everything I need before I move. Because when I'm ready to try the new uh, resin, I will have to get up and go in the other room. What turquoise color? And I smacked the mic, up, the camera apparently, when I moved over here. I'm also going to move the mic so maybe it can pick me up while I'm sitting at the desk. We can hope.
I goofed because I smacked the camera upside down. So. There we go. That's what I wanted.
actions much easier. I feel like I just wipe all the things out. Yeah. Now I can actually see it. So the B20s are my most favorite thing. Is that a good night as in you're alive or good night as in you're I'm not naming them, I'm not doing a lot of them, I'm really just kind of playing my camera. I really have a name. I just like the color. So, uh, what color should be Perfect. Also, let me know how audio is. and my Sharpies 
Sharpie on one of the purple guys. And now I can't get the extra. While I, I struggle to get day, night, I'm going how are you doing? Do you need anything other than the email and stuff like that? Let's just Any color is going to stand out since it's solid white. I had not given much thought to it, honestly. I'll try to pop in tomorrow for your stream.
out. I'll be right back. I need nail clippers. Small sharp knives. Should probably is not what I need. I returned. That's the kind of person I am. No, they're not Scorpio. They're just regular. They are this regular white ink. I don't know how to make glow in the dark anymore. I'm an amateur. Yeah, just some five dollar Moscato. I I am very easy when it comes to wine. I will drink five dollar. Um, it depends, no hat. If you want to, so I will just tell you all what I've spent so far, and this is over a few months. Some of the stuff I bought ages ago, and I'm just fun. Lab mold I bought has been the biggest expense. Obviously, if I was trying to make it sell dice, I probably could have made that money back. 
I mean, some people do get into it that they have a plan to sell their dice. That's when you, you know, make sure you've got the money to cast multiple sets of resin and not really for pressure pots to come up with all those things. It's a workshop.
It really depends on the die. Like the D6s, I can get comments without having to do that. You know, there are people who get into dice. They use dice, they don't realize. So the amount of money I've spent so far, I could have absolutely lost all the dice all the dice. But a lot of people don't think that way. Like, I did that with uh, knitting. <clears throat> and next I was like, oh, I'm going to be a professional knitter. It's, it's that I decided I wanted to learn to knit, and my aim was more to just go from zero to 100 in terms of knitting. I never knit a thing. Bought all this yarn, bought all Yard Panda games. I have not touched knitting forever. Because here's the thing the tools are just part of it. It's just like I uh, say about streaming. A lot of people think that if they want to get into streaming, they need to go spend the earth on a super expensive machine. Look, you know, they think they have to go spend the earth on a super expensive machine and, and you know that and because they spend so much money on equipment that they'll get drove to go to the moon. Then when they don't get the audience they think they deserve, not that they built up, but they think they deserve because they spent all this money on their computer, their lights, and whatnot, bought everything out of the line. Here's a spoiler. If you're boring as a streamer, you're boring. No amount of expensive equipment can fix that. I wish people understood that. Oh, this one has a bunch of holes in it. Right, and, and you know, if you and if you know that you can also get other uses out of that equipment, go for it. Go forth and, and do your thing. I'm not talking about the people that spend thousands of dollars on the All they play is like Call of Duty, Fortnite, and spend most of their stream building slurs. Those are the people I'm talking about. They're basically the guys that, that have no talent that will get on Twitch and Twitter and yell about Twitch streamers. Right. got resin here. I'm, I'm trying out that resin mist and see how I like it. Maybe there's a little bit too much flame of a uh, bubble-free bubble fine. 
I never understood it. The last time I played it, it turned into one of those. None of us know how to play this shit. So we're gonna be here several hours trying to figure out the rules of the game. I 
How's everyone in the chats? What are you up to? Still one of Mira's things. I am arachnophobic. Also a really random non sequitur because nobody was talking about sequiturs. Yeah, but just keep in mind a lot of people here. those random facts that
ourselves right now. Lots of meetings because my brain is not strong. Brain rules are not being used on my brain. I'm trying to lie down right now. I'm I wouldn't know what to expect. Will I ever so there's all in history to me.
for fun. Someone kept asking me about rose gold, and I actually found rose gold ink blackboard pigment last night. So we're gonna try it once I. I don't know what's to put on these green guys. Well, that one's darker, but not conventional. But I had I discovered a method. I know that feeling.
or like a It's going. I am struggling with making this set of all my like. I don't have a deep red like I have. That season. Not that she can hear me or cares about my voice. But I'm gonna make sure I do this in a better format. Goodbye, mouse. Have a good night. Blurred girl, how are you? What were you doing? What were y'all up to? I'm trying to wipe the ink off. And um, that worked on other guy, but not the solid white one so well. Especially since I picked my own reddish one. So that was what do you mean by my ink? What do you mean by my ink? I'm not following. Uh, so, one, please don't panic like that. Two, I'm sitting away from my mic because my headset mic did not work. I do have captions on. I know, I'm aware, that's the best I can do. But, oh no, your mic is not something a streamer wants to hear, ever.
Um, these are not for table, these are not really for Passports expired and this is your first time in my channel, so that's not how this works. Bear with me. Sitting at my desk so I can open this. Okay. Also, let's not self promote in your first time here. Don't open with a sharp object, and that's all I have on my desk. So, you no, know, it's resin. They probably just don't want you to cut through it resin everywhere. It says, do not open with sharp object right on top of the box. So. Huh. 
probably not a super sharp box cutter or something. Sorry for that unintentional ASMR. Packing list. So, I'm gonna show you all the things I bought including some gloves to work with this stuff. I just need to um, get the actual resin out of the box. I'm not showing you this on screen is because um, the top of the box had my address, so you would have seen my address. gallon jug would be bigger. All right. So we're now into gallon bottles. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, I am absolutely an amateur. On that. Oh, nice! Fuck! <laughs> I just ran into the desk. Don't mind me asking if you tang what is happening with your guards. Not like I'm a professional. I'm trying this resin. Uh, my friend recommended that it supposedly doesn't bubble.
some point. I want it. Love you. So while I'm stirring my life away, how is This is super pale, y'all. I don't believe that this is the actual What's the over under on this not being rose gold when it cures?
Teresa. Exactly. some resin T-Pain, is that actually chill beats? That was not intentional, but I'll take it.
I don't want to waste resin. Oh, hi, DC. Are you going to be up for a while? Yeah, the, the question was, do you all want to see some of the dice I've made? Uh, I'm away from my mic because my headset doesn't want to work. So I'm try my headset again. Let's see what happens.
Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Testing. Hopefully you hear me. Okay, good. Because earlier didn't work and I got very sick of, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can only hear every third word. Okay. I am not a patient person as Raphael knows. Okay. So. These are the dice I was working on earlier. Well, I finished the blue and purple set. Those are poured. I don't know why it didn't work earlier, but it got old real quick. So the green is a tourmaline. I did one or two drops of that and it came out very, very light green. Yes, uh, Dr. B, it turns out Lamy and I are, are actually neighbors. Not just living in the same city, we're basically neighbors. Uh, can someone delete that? Because I don't do business that way. Hey, Panda, can you delete that K Discovery message? Thank you. Oh, hi. Yeah, that we don't do that here. So, yes, yeah, so this, so these I finished painting on stream, or inking, I should say, on stream. Um, so, blue with purple ink. Um, these are a very light tourmaline, which I've, n I don't know what ink color I want to use. <laughs> it's, it's the world we live in, Raphael. I don't know, and these are looking blue in the, on the camera. I don't know why. So I don't know what I want to ink them. <laughs> what I want to use on them. This is the leftover from the, I need to fix this right now. So, and then this is just a totally clear set. I, I poured. So just totally clear. But if you look, there are plenty of bubbles, especially that you can see holding it up to the light. Um, also, that will bother me. Um, so yes. So I don't know what color I'm going to put on the clear ones either. But those are the ones I poured most recently other than this um, supposedly rose gold set. Oh, I, um, so what I started doing is I mix, I see how they're looking and about 40 minutes later I check or I look at the top of the mold and see if I can see any bubbles and then I mix a little bit more, lift the mold and pour it in and then flatten it over and put the top back on. So that's that. This, these are different. The black and orange are going to go to DJ Knight. I just need to clean them up. Because um, as you can see, some of them are very sloppy on the numbers. Um, this is Lapis Lazuli. Uh, Raphael, I shared these in the Discord we're both in. So it's blue with silver. Um, and it's like five drops of Lapis Lazuli. That pigment's very strong. Um, and then I tried to make blue and orange and it didn't quite mesh the way I wanted. I'm not sure how to layer resin because 
I poured the blue and the orange in at the same time and it came out muddy. I am not a fan. So I'm not I'm not real thrilled. In this one, the 20 didn't come out at all. I don't know why the 20 didn't come out. But the mold has two D20s in it. Ah! These are Garnet. Same. And these are all the same brand of liquid uh, pigment. So these are Garnet. And I used just black ink on them. And then these are a pink. So that's a pink. I'm gonna finish inking those in gold eventually. Um, and there was purple, I moved it. Um, so yeah, the, the Lapis Lazuli and the Garnet do not have a home currently. I don't know what I wanna do with them. They're also not quite up to my standards, which is why I'm not selling these dice. Because I am too much of a perfectionist and I would never be happy with them. And plenty of these have bubbles. The the pink ones are the ones that came out the best so far. Raphael, if you want, if you order the stuff, we can have a dice making night at your house if you're cool with that. I can tell you what to order and we can make some. And then these are... The ones that were not a total fail recently. That was not my best idea. Because the tiny dice almost rolled away. Well, I mean when I'm in town for um, packs. I'm also very paranoid because I'm sitting here with my back to the door and it bothers me so much um but these are a little different these are all powder pigments oh these are the purple set and these are the ones some of them i did with markers because i'm not smart um but yeah the the d10 the all D10 mold I bought. Oh boy, it is so deep. The numbers are so very deep. But so this is the difference. This is pigment powder, not liquid pigment. And it is very solid. Yeah, so basically the pigment that's for soaps. So it's a nice sky blue. This is like a couple taps out of out of the pigment. Um see if I've got one sitting out. I do not. Hold on. Oh wait, I do. Ha ha. It's actually the two that I used for these dice. It's still out. Ugh. So the, the light blue, this is haze. Um, and it's soap dye, but you can use it for resin. You just have to be very sparing depending on what you want it to do. This isn't that much haze, and this is how solid this came out. These are pearl. But I found the bubbling is worse when I use powder dye. When I use pigment powder, the bubbling is actually worse. When I use pigment powder, um... And then this is a fail on the... Oh, no, this one actually came out okay. This is real... This is like several drops of pink. It came out like Pepto Pink. This came out Pepto Pink, which I probably will never use. If I run into someone and they really like pink, they probably will just get this. And I have it in my pocket. But I hate this. This is really bright and not my thing. Yeah, I think it's basically Mika powder that I'm using. So, um, but like these purple ones, that's just a couple drops of purple. But as you can see, there's there's bubbles on them still. 
So that's why I bought the slab mold. So the slab mold doesn't have a sprue. This mold does. So this mold has basically a sprue. And I think at some point you're supposed to flip it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to flip it over or fill it enough so that it, it fills and you just trim off the sprue. But it leaves a really big sprue and I don't know how to trim it. But yeah, there's a lot of dice to be painted. Um, I don't know what to do with the with these because the the numbers are very deep on this on these D10. I bought a mold that's all D10s because I was like, I'll make my own set of vampire dice. And while it came out, this is a really deep number, so I'm not sure what to do with these. The paint pen actually has a hard time getting into the... Yeah, I know that's what I just said. I know that. I know you're supposed to trim off the sprue. I just started writing down how much resin I need to make a whole set of dice. It's usually 40 milliliters. At least for the Warby mold. I mixed 60, so that's why I have the extra d20s filled as well so yeah so yeah those are kind of done but what I've discovered is wiping off the extra paint as you go is actually much better than So actually, I might clean these off before we call it a night. I mean, I did that. The first few dice I used with that small mold, they're ridiculous. So. Hey, Panther. Yeah, that's what I started doing yesterday while I was watching Panther or Panther Panthers right there pirates um, how was your stream today uh panda i was lurking because unfortunately i was in a meeting when you were live so this is what i have been doing is oh, i'm gonna knock that over nice how was dnd this is what i have been doing which is using acrylic paint and wiping it off after So either way has merit. I'm just finding I enjoy the wiping off as I go much more effective because these have been painted for a while and I'm just now getting back to cleaning them off. What I'm noticing though is this method. I keep wiping off a lot of like a lot of the 11 when I do this. Like for whatever reason, I cannot clean off the 11 without wiping most of it off. And sometimes the four. But because these have been painted and sitting around for a little bit, I feel it'll go better. Or 
or Raphael if you want in advance of packs give me a, a color scheme and I'll try to pour a decent set for you and there we go our d20 is cleaned up well I like you And Panda, your birthday is coming, so you definitely should tell me what you want. Because you're, um, is that the orange that the dye are painted? So orange, but what, um, but what uh, color ink? Also, I realized I'm doing the same thing I do with mini painting. I'm just working on autopilot and not um, holding this where the camera can see it. Bye, Shears. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. So basically, take this colors. So basically, the same blue. So the same blue as the lapis lazuli. I think I can pull that off. Okay, because your birthday just passed. And I'm the worst at birthday gifts. Arg. Also, um, Dr. B was looking quite stylish in his um, birthday gifts. His new Goran Brothers hat. One of two, I believe, you got for your birthday, sir. I will match. Actually, will match uh, Dr. B. I too got the cantrip jacket. So, uh, come September, um, we can match. And this is the other method I've discovered works pretty well, is uh, rubbing an alcohol wipe over the dice after the ink is dry. Yes, I, I unboxed it on stream, but it has not been cold enough to wear any of the stuff Aaron sent me. So. I know, I was like, excuse. But in, an, in the best way, not in a creepy way. What is it people say? I was looking respectfully. <laughs> you were looking surprised? Why surprised? Although I have a feeling I know the answer, but why surprised? I'm curious. S okay, so when you say silver gray, do you mean the dice are silvery gray or the ink is silvery gray? Why would you be surprised the photos look good? That was a lot. Okay, well, there is this one, although it seems very thin, but it, it also says gun colors, so I'm not sure how you feel about that. So black dye, silver paint, we'll see. I'll see what I can do and bring with me next week. A living cartoon character. You have paint for me. Oh, did you get some more Turbo Geek? 
Uh, the ones I'm working on are the ones uh, Panda requested. Raphael, oh my god, I thought I was hard on my looks. Brendo. I mean, I know exactly, I know you're giving me a look because we've had these conversations before. And now the shoe is on the other foot, though. Sorry. Sorry, I, uh, ever since that the neighbor came and banged on my door that day, I am, like, hyper vigilant at any noise. It could be someone banging on a door. Although the irony is, and I talked about this yesterday. Oh, dag nabbit. I actually cut the die. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, we, Raphael and I have had these talks, Panda and I have had these talks, and it's hard because I am now at a point where I cannot talk about this stuff online peacefully, because people mean well. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of the name. The name is Gun Gray, and I'm like, oh god, why? All right, so let's try to get these inked a little bit and then we'll probably call it because it's 10 and tomorrow is Motherland's Day. Yeah, these tiny dice really did not come out. I don't know what if, if I want to try to save them. Also, I moderately regret opening the Discord to the to the wider public because, oh my god, there's so many people in there now. I don't know. That is a, that's a Eugenio question. That is absolutely a Eugenio question. I don't know. I'm a player, remember? I left my wine on my desk. Yeah, um, I put out a Kickstarter update. I, I see. But before we paint, look what I got today. Look what I got. It was a gift. And I requested rainbow. I requested pride. This is handmade. It is wood and stained to my request. And it opens. And those are my dice in there that I made. Uh, Panda, can you grab the tweet with it? These are the dice that I made. These are my best first ones that I made. Yep. So there you can see them better. You found a flesh. Thank you for your resub. A whole year. Thank you. But yeah, these were my first two really successful pours. Um, blue and like a dark blue and silver and black and gold black with gold leaf in it so 
So yeah, I wanted to show that before I started inking because this is going back on my desk. And there is a better picture on, on Twitter. That was surprisingly one of the first ones I made. Hey Liz, how are you? All right, try to finish these for DJ. I've also got something to send him. His birthday is coming. His birthday is August 30th. Um, I need a light. Wow, I can't see shit. Yeah, because I, I am bifocal years old now, y'all. Oh, and if you ever, if you like what I'm listening to, this is T-Pain's Pizzle Pack 2. And, uh, and, uh, he was working on some beats last night and it was really dope. We raided him, uh, after I did my last New World stream. You were going to ask what? This is T-Pain's Pizzle Pack 2 and streamers can use it right, um, without DCMA strikes. Yeah, so T-Pain has made two playlists so far, and he's working on the third one of of um, beats streamers can use without worrying about a DCMA. His only request is that you don't try to make songs with his beats and sell it as your own. And he was on when I started. He streams. He's been on a, a streak of making some beats. So, I mean, granted, you know, T-Pain is T-Pain, but he's really dope to watch. I enjoy his streams, but I also, you know, really enjoy his music. Let that dry because it wiped almost right back off. Hey, Squall, how are you? What were y'all up to? But yeah, the uh, the the grumpy downstairs neighbor also does have me kind of on high alert. I also normally am not streaming this time of night, so this is not normal for me. Well, come on in, Squall. Squall, will I see you at the at the Gen of Cons? Um, I know that I was very vociferous about not going, but part of my diversity work them this year means I should be on site. <laughs> I am Panther. I will be there Wednesday through Tuesday. Uh, then you should join me. I'll be working, but I'm not going to be there 24-7. That is if you want to come meet a weirdo from the internet. Also, welcome everyone from Tall Squalls Raid. What were y'all up to? Or did Squall Raid and Run? I did have the pleasure of meeting Tall Squall last year at, or not last year, 2019, at PAX Unplugged. Cool. That is a 30. And I'll be at OrcaCon. I run programming for OrcaCon in case you did not know that.
wait, that means I'll get to see Liz, Dr. B, and Malfunct, and Brian. What? What is this miracle? Yep, I run programming. And, um... I feel that malfunct. Misty should be there. She's invited as a guest. Which means Nerbal will be there. Please get sleeps. I am glad you stopped by and glad we will get to hang out. Oh goodness, hello Friday afternoon tea. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome on in. Thanks for using your resub message for a raid. Um, programming for any convention is complex and involved, but OrcaCon is still small enough to where it's not, it's not like programming for WizCon. Welcome Raiders. I feel like I should run my raid video, but I'm like literally away from my desk. I don't avoid a... Um, it was 1400 maybe but it's spread out it is very spread out like over the whole Bellevue Hilton and three floors oh come on in Friday afternoon tea hello yeah it's I mean it's not as it's bigger than WizCon but it's also we basically take over the whole Bellevue Marriott. Bellevue Hilton, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's still very manageable. You know. So right there is... Schmutz on the tip of this pen. Yes, it is not the Bellevue Hilton because that hotel closed for renovation and then lied about when they were going to be reopened. So that was fun. And Everett was a jog. I don't have a steady hand anymore. Oh, and Raphael, I was able to get a hotel very close to PAX. So I have a feeling a lot of people have not booked because of their initial... We weren't asking for proof of vaccination, but now they are. I have a feeling if you're going and you don't live there, you should book your hotel very soon. Yeah, every time it was in Everett, someone had to get me at the airport with Bellevue. Yeah, I, I have a media badge. I just need to find my car to get... I am actually very willing to get a third shot going to PAX. If they will let me, and if I can't find my vaccination card. Thank you, Friday afternoon tea. I appreciate it. Isn't Emerald City Comic Con still happening? Like, in person? December. Oh, hey, Lady Dame. Oh, are they competing with Pax Unplugged then? Because if I am able to go to Pax Unplugged, I will absolutely go there. Oh, I have the only... So I have a media badge. I'll be walking around early. I'm going to go in early. And, uh... And then leave once it gets super crowded. Cause I uh I only got 
And so I got a media badge. I'm not on any panels, Raphael. That's the one panel I was asked to join was is accepted. Because the media badge gets you in early. What? This must be a record. Although now that my mic is working, we should you should get on voice. Yeah, oh, hey Lisa, hello. I got so many good beans that need shout outs. Lisa, Josh, Friday afternoon tea. Dr. B. Really? Well, I was able to get in a very close hotel, which is helping me decide. I mean, I don't blame you, but honestly, if I can arrange getting to Mock's boarding house or the place that you took us, Dr. B, um, it had the really, really good whiskey. Box is a great time. And Joshua, I did not know you were out that way until I saw photos of the last outing. I thought you were still adjacent to me or here. I'm behind clearly because then when I saw the photos, I'm like, wait, when did you move out there? Excuse me. But again, uh, thank you for all the raids. Sorry, I'm, I did not give you a raid video. I mean, I, I never had a claim to Josh, so... So enjoy. Let's make sure you are, you are claiming him with consent. <laughs> hey! I spy a Hannah. I know, but I was like, um, y'all, y'all might want to consider why I said that, why, why I might look at someone saying he's ours now, kind of side eye. I miss you. Um, if you will be at the Paxes or Gen Con, I will now be there. Hello to the hubby. Yes, Dr. B. Hey, TTRPG gifts. Ooh, that did not work out the way that I want it. The pen just splashed everywhere. This is an acrylic paint pen, by the way. How are you? Can we get some love in the chat for TTRPG gifts, aka Robo Goblin? Uh, aren't there two moxes in Seattle? I mean, as long as I can either get a lift or someone's willing to come get me. Or drop me off. I will go to either Mox. <sighs> These are going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, I don't know the difference. And I'm not being facetious. I honestly don't know. Because I thought Seattle... I thought Bellevue was in Seattle. Oh. Oh, fancy. So, you know what I'm going to ask Dr. B? Uh, 
and I mean this would be a you text me but who is she and um, do I need to give give this person the talk So Raphael can tell you all how I am. We're we're too close in age for me to be auntie-ish, but I, I will pull older sister. This is just me being overprotective. Why would you be scared, Raphael? Why? No, this was a so I'm getting on a plane. Yeah, she's lucky she has her knees still. told this story on stream before but a friend of mine who I've known for 20 years at this point who also is out in Seattle by the way called me when her now ex-husband decided to walk out on her he was a piece of trash and she was already iffy about calling me at work oh yeah Hannah if you ever need to visit a pig farm just let me know I'm sure we can arrange that I understand that that doesn't mean that I can't be mad There's a reason I have a plus 10 to intimidation on most of my characters. But no, she called me at work. And... And when she finished telling me what happened, that he basically decided to leave her for some chick that tracked him down post-college. I was like, so I'm on my way. She's like, but you're at work. I'm like, and your point? You called me at work. And you had to know that telling me this was not going to end in any other way than me leaving work and, and finding this dude. Oh yes, it's a mutual. Remember I ran into her sister at here at um, City of Heroes convention. Hey Sefi, how are you? And it was the oh shit it's you moment. Yeah, I gotta call it work. Yes, yeah, werewolf feels. Yeah, so she's somewhere in Seattle, but every time I've been out there. A little bit. How are you, Sefi? Also, Sefi is part of a really cool Dimension 20 show that is happening soon. I'm so hyped for you. It's also made me remember that you were out that way. I don't know why I thought you were in New York. I have no idea why. But no, so she calls me at work and, you know, I'm like, I gotta go. My boss like, what? I'm like, it's an emergency. Gotta go.
And then I realized, and she, because she was like, you're the one of only a couple friends that has been the, so, hey kittens. Um, so I was like, uh, so what, when we, when we rolling up on dude, right? He's like a six, five black dude. He can't hide very easily. Get a shout out for kittens and thank you for your resub. Thank you, kittens. I've discovered acrylic pens, acrylic paint pens. I mean, I also will respect the wishes of my friends if they do not wish me to act a certain way. But I am that friend. And thank you for the raid, kittens. Thank you. Um, these are one of my few successful pours lately, Steffi. I'm I've got a set going. The 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 pigment. Wow, words are hard today. It says rose gold, but I don't think it's gonna come out rose gold. Oh, thank you for the gift sub, Alphonse. And what were you up to, kittens? Can I get a shout out for kittens as well? Oh, I didn't make a mold, kittens. I bought a mold. I absolutely would not be making a mold. <laughs> not. Not ever. Ooh, like, wait. Candy pattern? Or, like, edible? Hey, Grimner. Oh, thank you, Malfunct, for your very generous sub-gifting. Yes, I have discovered acrylic paint pens. And that has saved me. Thank you, Raiders. Oh no, I don't want a 3D resin printer. I don't have the space for it, and I'm I'm afraid of UV resin. Um, I will message me on Twitter or Discord, Anna, and I will send you the link because I just bought these at a uh, on Amazon. Oh, thank you, Panda. Um, talk to Panda or Panda's hubby. He does a lot of UV resin stuff. Uh, well, that's what I'm doing right now. Mer Dragon. Because painting with, like, actual acrylic paint was effective. But basically, I had to... Let everything dry and then come back and clean it off with alcohol. Uh, you should go eat... And you may get a text message with a face on it. Fussing at you because you didn't eat. Well, I have alcohol or something on my hand. I have something sticky. I think it's from the resin that spilled on the desk earlier. You had scotch without food. I have what's left of a beef brisket I ordered and an ungodly amount of fries. I ordered a lote, but I did not like it. Yeah, I ate. I ate earlier before all my two hour meetings. Yeah, I am not trying to use UV resin because I have, while well, I do have a bigger apartment now. I don't have that kind of space to air out UV resin or to rent stuff or whatever.
Nice. But yeah, I'm all, the other thing I'm discovering, and this is me literally being, I'm today years old when I discovered this, is painting. And then, um, wiping the extra paint off ASAP and just letting it dry. Yeah, Panda's birthday is next week, and DJ Knight's birthday is August 30th. Oh, nice. I'm rolling over to get my wine, because now I don't have space for the wine glass. Because now that I'm on a roll, I kind of want to finish this last D20. Liz, how did you forget your birthday is coming? Hi, dear. Well, we poured um, rose gold. So this was the the ink. So it's rose gold. However, I was hesitant to put too many in there, too much in there, because this is alcohol ink, alcohol pigment. And I didn't want it to not cure because of the alcohol ink. Um, so we'll see how it comes out. It's super pale. It's very, very pale. So I don't know if it's going to look like anything when it's cured. So I'm going to leave it um, to like maybe eight or eight or nine. Because if it's 1030 now... No, actually, if I leave it till 7 a.m., that'll be eight hours to cure. Yeah, I have blood dice by accident with the wipe. Um, so for those that weren't here earlier, I did a milky white. But when I wiped off the extra ink, it left a st it stained the dice. So now I've got kind of accidental blood dice. Oh my god. D just tell the chat what I sent you, because I'm 12. Yeah, I, I only inked a few of them. I sent that same thing to Misty, too. Uh, maybe, but I also don't want to ruin the finish of the... Ruin the finish of the, uh, of the dice. And make it uneven. You know, if I was going to sell them, I would probably care more. Yeah, so uh, I actually bought a D10 mold, and it's all D10s. But the numbers are very deep. The grooves are very deep, so... It, uh... Well, I was like, I'm, I bought a D10 mold. I'm going to make my own vampire dice. Well, that was why I bought... That's why I bought the mold. Let's see if I can reach this. So, as you can see, I, I poured too much and I had... I made a giant D20. Let's see how deep the grooves are in that. The paint pen can't really get in there. Uh, for me, Bruja... I think on B Dave's YouTube, we did a one on one shot and he taught me how to play vampire. So I think if you look up uh, B Dave's one on one shot and my name, you should find it. Maybe. Oh, I'm laughing, but I also am the, the juvenile that sent you the joke, so. Yes, but the white dice are now called the Jizz dice. Because I'm five. 
Well, Eli by Night will be back soon. They just, they just, uh, recorded a new season, the final season, fifth season. I don't know if fifth season is final. Yeah, I also sent it to Misty while she was live because I'm terrible. If anyone ever thinks that I uh, am innocent, good luck. All right, bye, kittens. Thanks for bringing everyone by. Yeah, she was live when I sent her that. Where did it go? Oh my god, it's almost under the desk. Oh god. I'm also tired because normally I would not drop stuff like this. Correct. Um, if someone wants to do exclamation motherlands, um, Warren already updated all the commands. Okay, that is not updated. I need to fix it. The Nightbot version is not updated. That says season two and tomorrow starts season three. So I need to fix that. Yeah, that's also why I'm not sleeping very... Well, I'm not asleep yet. My brain is thinking of everything that can go wrong tomorrow. Um, it's got a, it's got a timer on it, a cooldown. Yeah, see this one has little air bubbles on top, so it's making it hard to ink the three. And I don't want to get like orange paint everywhere. I've actually got a really important meeting, so after I'm done with this orange paint job, we're probably going to find someone to raid. I have no idea who's on. I normally am not on on Tuesdays, let alone this late. So... Oh, we may raid T-Pain again. He's still on. He's on when I started. Hey, 
Okay, we'll have to plan to meet up once I am, uh, once I get to town for packs. But don't forget to send me a message for the paint pens and I can send you a link. Yeah, I am, I am overwhelmed lately. And when I'm overwhelmed, I hermit and I don't talk to people. I don't know, I've been shutting down a lot in, in the sense of I, so and this veers more into kind of, I guess mental health stuff, personal stuff, but when I get entirely overwhelmed, I kind of just shut down. I think once this one project I'm on that ramped up kind of out of nowhere is done, I can breathe. Um, but I, I was on a project and it just went from like zero to a hundred all of a sudden. It's something I'm a lead on, but I'm not like... It's not like I can be like, okay, this this can be late. I have to actually do everything I need to do. <laughs> I know. Ah. Yes, here is the black and orange set. And then it's gonna go with that. And this should actually sit out. So that is bending. I don't know why this is, is buckling, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to sit it under something. Yeah, these are. Oh, I missed a number on that D12. Dag nabbit. Well. Right, now that's done or not I forgot the two I miss this d12 a lot apparently I was talking and not paying attention I missed more than one number on this d12 that just didn't stay There we go. Wow, I was talking and running my mouth and I totally missed half the numbers on here. Thank you, Zephy. As someone with great taste, I appreciate that. Now the D12 is done. Oh no. But yes, here are, oh, excuse me, I am tired. Wait, how are there 3D20s? Not sure how that happened, but okay. I 
Well, I think you have great taste. Yeah, that, I think that's enough crafting. Um, but these are gonna go. Oh god, I have to scoot over. <laughs> Depending on how my weekend goes, we may paint the clear ones. But these are all dice earmarked for other people. I don't know what I'm painting the green one yet, though. But let me switch over to my actual desk. Oh god. But let me go to stream ending. Oh god. Microphone, what are we doing? Now my actual mic is being weird. I also bought silicone gloves. They felt so rubbery I did not want to put them on right now. Alright, um... So cyberpunk ending. And let's see who's on. So T-Pain is on, but he's got almost 3,000 people. Um, who do we know that's on? Leash is on playing Far Cry. Domestic Dan is on again. D&D &D is on, but... Um, of my mods, is there anyone you'd recommend? Because I normally am not on this time of night. So... I DK who to raid. I think it's Jake S, Mom. You're welcome, Farwick. I hope your day is going well. I may just let it go to uh, auto host. Because I don't know who to raid. Oh, Dylan's on. Let's raid 8-Bit Dylan. But it's going to be a raid and run. He's playing Knockout City. I am. I have had wine. I'm going to bed. Um. Yeah, use hi if you don't. Um, if you're not a sub, use over hi how to emote you have. And I'll see you over in Dylan's channel briefly. Have a good night.